I was running through the six with my woes. And you know how that shit go. You know how that shit go. You know how that shit go. Running through the What's up guys, Edgar here, lifestylesdefined.com, here to give you my thoughts on build 10166. Uh, it took me a little while to get into this build, and the reason why is because be with uh, build 10149, I ran into a bug with my phone where I was unable to receive or send messages, and so I reverted back to Windows Phone 8.1. Then I went ahead and upgraded back to Windows Phone or Windows 10 Mobile build 10166, which is this one here. Uh, I wanted to really get into the build here, try it out, see if I could find any, any bugs or any inconsistencies before I give you guys a video so that I could give you guys some tips uh, on what to do in case you run into the same issues. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started here. So the first thing you'll notice is that the start screen, uh, everything seems to be smoother, faster, transitions and animations seem to be uh, improved. Uh, and so... Let's go ahead and jump into some applications to show you show you how that works. So here's six tag. Sometimes you do still get this loading screen, which I don't know, it's just a little annoying. I uh, will jump into the amazing weather application here. Uh, let's see, let's jump into the photos application. Let's jump into the TV show application. So you can see sometimes, depending on the on your network settings obviously things are gonna take a little bit a little while to load uh, but anyway let's go ahead and multitask here and see what we have we have a few applications open so we can jump into photos application six tag uh, my tube and let's see background settings and then we can go back home uh, so as far as that goes it's definitely an improvement from the previous build. Uh, still a little work to be done there in that section of this build. Uh, the other few things, of course, are cosmetic changes to the People Hub, for instance. The tile here, you'll notice I have a wide People application tile. Um, this one here is obviously displaying the new circles that a lot of you don't like. Uh, well, I guess it's some of you like it, some of you don't. I personally don't really mind it. I think it's a nice look to have uh, something other than squares. Uh, and it kind of makes it a little more consistent as far as the cons consistency of the OS. For instance, you see the circles there. Obviously, when you jump into the application, the contacts are circles. When you get a phone call, you sh the, uh, the contacts are there as a circle. The thumbnail is a circle. When you jump into the music application, for instance, you'll notice that the artists our circles so I think that's something that Microsoft is going with now uh, I don't know I don't think they'll get rid of the tiles but I think circles may be a, a, a big part of the OS now uh, so I don't mind that uh, the other few cos cosmetic changes are the edge browser now has a transparent tile as well as the store tile uh, is also now transparent and uh, just a few small changes there not too much going on uh, one of the really nice things that I found about this build here is when you jump into Cortana there's a few changes there too uh, for instance the cards now seem uh, slim uh, a lot more slim than, than they were in the previous build and here on top you'll notice that a cal calendar events actually show up towards the top of your cards when you launch Cortana this one here is a birthday when you actually bring down the arrow you have the option to open in calendar or show more details so we can open the calendar here it'll launch the calendar and take us directly to that event uh, the other nice thing that I found is that if you had a meeting for instance and you had a time set for it you could actually set an alarm from within here without having to launch the uh, calendar application you can do it all from within Cortana which actually makes it a lot more convenient and uh, I really do like that feature um, that's been added to Cortana here. That's a really nice touch that they've added here with Windows uh, Windows 10 Mobile Build 10166. Uh, the other really cool thing is that when you jump into the Photos application, uh, for instance, if, if we open up, uh, let's see, we can open up any of these backgrounds here. For instance, this one right here. We can open up this background here or this picture here. Now when you bring up the menu, you'll notice you can do a, a, a slideshow print. You can also set it as lock screen, and you can also set it as background. Now, I don't know if these features were there before. I might, if they were, I missed them. Uh, but 
like for instance here, if you'll notice my start screen is, uh, I have a red background on the back. Uh, but now we can set this one as a background. The only thing is that it will actually make the whole screen a background. So set it as background and it will take a few seconds. Now we can launch the, and there's the background there. So it's really nice and convenient to have that there. The other few changes I noticed is that when you bring this up, you can actually zoom in with the buttons down here. So you can zoom in and zoom out here from within the Photos application without having to pinch and zoom. So you can do that there. That's another neat touch that I noticed has changed here with this build. And of course, it's no longer Xbox Music. It is now, or Music it is now Groove Music. So that's something that's changed. It's only a rebrand, not necessarily any changes to the UI as far as the music application. So that is the good so far with this build. Um, obviously, uh, Action Center is working well. Uh, you know, you still have to pull down uh, quick actions here towards the top. All that is still there. Now, let's go into the bad. One of the things that I noticed, some of the things that I noticed that um, are a little annoying, and obviously it is expected with a technical preview to run into things like this. Uh, for instance, if we jump into the Photos application and I want to share something, for instance, maybe I took this picture of uh, this rock that I thought was really cool. Uh, if you want to share this photo here, hit the share button, obviously it'll bring up the share page. You can choose from any of these options here. The only thing is that if I wanted to share it to WhatsApp, which is all the way down there, I can't swipe. And notice what, ha what uh, actually happens when I try to swipe up. The screen goes blank and I can't choose any other options. I can only choose from the options that are visible. Uh, so again, if I want to share, I can choose from any of these here. I can choose a uh, six tag. You know, and then there's six tag, I can click on it and customize it and all that good stuff there. But if I want to, again, swipe up to uh, see more options and nothing happens. I cannot access any of the other options available. So the workaround is, of course, if I want to share to WhatsApp, obviously open WhatsApp and then pick the group I want to share to, and then hit the attachment, go into albums, go into camera roll, and then find the picture, and now we can share it to WhatsApp. So as of now, there's a little bit of uh, a run around that you have to do in order to share photos to some of the other options towards the bottom, but of course that will be fixed uh, with future updates. Uh, the other thing, with Windows or uh, Windows 10 build 10149, I ran into a messaging bug. Again, I was unable to receive or send messages, um, and so I reverted back. But now the bug is back, but it, it doesn't necessarily make your phone unusable. Uh, so basically, what happens when I run into this bug? What what actually makes it? Uh, activate this bug is having the music playing on the background while the phone is charging. If you try to send a message uh, while they're both playing simultaneously, uh, you'll get an error saying unable to send message and then you can't receive any either. So while the phone is charging and playing music simultaneously, you cannot send or receive messages. Uh, at least that's what's hap what happens to me every time I try. So the fix to that is a simple uh, soft reset. Uh, once the phone is uh, booted up once again, uh, you can go back to sending and receiving messages. So that's a nice thing to know that you can actually fix that that way. Um, as far as the, anything else that's bad, I haven't noticed anything else that you know turns me off about this build. I think everything seems to be going in the right direction with some exceptions of course like the people circles and the people uh, tile there I know that's something that a lot of people don't like it's been getting a lot of flack lately and uh, again I'm one of those that doesn't really mind it uh, I think it's it's a nice look but anyway this these are my thoughts I, I just wanted to quickly give you guys my thoughts on this build here uh, stay tuned for more check us out lifestylesdefined.com don't forget to subscribe and like Again, my name is Edgar. I'll see you guys next time.